All right, here in uh, E6, we've got a pair of uh, gilts here. Um, 20 7 is the calico gilt. She would be a punisher, sharp dressed man. Um, her mother raised a division champion gilt at Indiana State Fair a few years ago. Uh, the belted pig is a back slap, king cobra, safe word. Uh, again, if you listen to the Barra's, uh, the Barra videos there, we get into detail on the pedigrees. 20-7, um, calico gilt. 21-7 is the belted gilt. 21-7, um, I think, is a very, very neat breeding piece. She's uh, would be on my short list of uh, gilts here on the top. Uh, that would be my favorites. This gilt, uh, very tall at the point of her shoulder. Uh, got the extension to be a good big pig and got the build to be a good big pig. Very square-backed, um, stout-featured, sharp-looking, a lot of neat things. And then the calico gilt, real soggy middle, real good ribbed, and then, again, ultra-comfortable, uh, neat little gilt here that would be good at, uh, in a show ring or a sow herd. Yeah, Brandon hit the, uh, the the nail right on the head on these two, 20-7, uh, uh, the Calico. You want to talk about comfort level, yet still good about the turn to her cage. Uh, uh, we all know what uh, uh, the success that Punisher's been having lately. Uh, uh, that's just a very, very good fundamental uh, guilt that takes it to the next level in some places. And then 21-7, feature bone density is ultra impressive. Uh, uh, sets her neck very high out of the top side of her blade, maintains her comfort. Uh, uh, I reckon you don't want to miss that one uh, come sale day whether uh, like I've said before whether you like to win big pig shows or you like to race pigs that do so uh, that one there has tons of value 20-7's the calico 21-7's the belted uh, very neat pair of gilts